As electric vehicles roll into the mainstream of driving in the United States, car makers have already made big strides toward converting much of their fleets to EVs in the coming decade, promising to provide EV technology that's affordable, efficient, and available in every corner of the country. For automakers, direct investment in battery components and charging stations by car makers may help move the needle on EVs. The most obvious example is Volkswagen's $2.45 billion Electrify America network, which already operates more than 3,500 ultra-fast chargers at 800 stations across the U.S. and Canada, and aims for a total of 10,000 chargers at 1,800 stations. Just how little will the switch to EVs hurt the oil industry in the short term? According to IHS Market, a global financial consulting firm, estimates EVs will reduce global demand for oil in 2026 by just 1%, about 1.1 million barrels per day. Despite the seismic realignment the EV revolution has set in motion, ExxonMobil isn't making drastic changes just yet. Corporate leaders say the continued stream of income from fuels for airplanes, transport trucks, and for industrial uses such as heating, power generation, and chemical production means even the widespread adoption of EVs may have relatively little financial impact for years to come. While big oil may not fuel the cars of tomorrow, global oil companies around the world are committing resources to exploring new power generation and storage technologies, including battery technology. For ExxonMobil, that means a focus on producing synthetic fluids for EVs, which still have plenty of parts that need lubrication, and fluids used in thermal management for batteries, electric motors, and electric components. Meanwhile, BP announced a $1.2 billion investment in BP Pulse, a UK-based EV charging infrastructure system, and partnered with the EV charger manufacturer Tritium to provide commercial chargers in England, Australia, and New Zealand. While car companies are vocal in their promises to move largely or completely to EV lineups in the next decade, even major EV players such as GM haven't given up on gas-powered technology just yet. For more information on the latest automotive news, visit the Capital One Auto Learning Center in the link below and follow our channel.